This question deals with a 22-year-old male presents to your office complaining of occasional headache. Occasional headache. On exam, you note several pigmented spots on his trunk, spots on trunk, several, he's only 23. You also discover a few rubbery cutaneous tumors on his neck. Rubbery cutaneous tumors. The cells composing these skin tumors most likely originated from which of the following structures? Surface ectoderm, surface ectoderm, neuroectoderm, neural crest cells, mesoderm, endoderm, notochord. Now from this vignette, it's quite obvious that they are talking about NF1 or neurofibromatosis type 1. In neurofibromatosis type 1, we see a constellation of symptoms. There is going to be cutaneous tumors under the skin. There is going to be several pigmented spots. Several pigmented spots, you know what they're talking about? They're ta talking about cafe o lait spots. What does cafe o lait mean? Cafe means coffee, o lait means with milk. So it, it's like co milk coffee. It, it looks like coffee with milk, right? That's why they're called cafe o lait spots found in neurofibromatosis type 1. Now, they're asking a specific questions. They're not asking, what is the disease? Are they asking that? No, we always have to pay attention to what they are asking. What is the question? The question cell says that the cells composing these tumors. So we want to find out the tumors are made up of. So rubbery cutaneous tumors. Rubbery cutaneous tumors. The tumors are made up of what cell? The tumors are made up of Schwann cell. Okay, and Schwann cell is going to be a neural crest origin cell. So the answer is going to be neural crest. What are all the uh, neural crest derivative cells? I remember the mnemonic with, uh, I remember the neural crest origin cells with the mnemonic motel pass. I mean, I might miss some still, but it covers a lot. M for melanocytes, O for odontoblasts, TEL, tracheoesophageal cartilage. P is going to be for pia matter. P is going to be for pseudounipolar cells. P is going to be for parafollicular cells. A is going to be for A is going to be for arachnoid and adrenal medulla, which is the chromophilin cells of the adrenal medulla. S is going to be for skull bones, and the other S is going to be for Schwann cells. So those are the neural crest cells. Very very high yield. Always asked. And if you don't remember the, the different neural crest origin cells, you know, you're in trouble. So it's best to learn it.